So unlike water soluble vitamins, you can actually have toxicity of it also if you give excess. Typically, this toxicity hypervitaminosis was seen in Eskimos who used to eat that halibut liver oil or halibut liver that I talked to you about. All right, they used to eat polar bear livers and these livers used to contain excessive amounts of vitamin A. So it was typically seen in Eskimos. It was typically seen in Eskimos. Now, what are the symptoms? The characteristic symptom of hypervitaminosis A, excess of vitamin A is what is called as pseudo tumor cerebri. Pseudo tumor. Cerebri. What is the pseudo tumor cerebri? So you don't have tumor in the brain, pseudo tumor, but still you will have raised intracranial pressure and raised intracranial tension. So there is raised intracranial pressure without any tumor, hence the name pseudo tumor cerebri. This raised intracranial pressure will cause headache, it will cause blurring of vision, it will cause uh, vomiting. It will cause papilledema. So there is raised intracranial pressure occurring because of hypervitaminosis A, referred to as pseudotumor cerebri. Apart from this, there is also what is called as bone dysfunction or bony malformation, also referred to as hyperostosis of long bones. And this results in chronic fractures. All right. Apart from this, these individuals also have exfoliative dermatitis along with hepatosplenomegaly. Obviously, the liver is storing it, so it's becoming enlarged in size. So these are the symptoms, signs and symptoms as far as your hypervitaminosis A is concerned. The main, the characteristic one that you definitely have to remember is pseudotumor cerebri. Even if you don't remember the other ones, definitely remember high vitamin A causes increased intracranial pressure referred to as pseudotumor cerebri.